Good morning. So uh, yesterday morning, um, I was halfway through creating a uh, a function for creating a goal, um, and I had a little bit of time yesterday evening um, to work on this, and it was. It was gnawing on my mind, um, so I changed things up a bit. Um, originally, I was cheapskating and I was just passing in a goal that I knew only parts of the record would be um, set. I didn't like that. It wasn't that wasn't a good idea. Um, I decided to do it properly. So, as you can see, I'm now passing in um, all the values that. I expect um, whether they're empty or not um, and then uh, we create a uh, an empty goal because um, we are then going to set the goal ID as part of the returning from the insert um, so I'm only returning the ID the created at and the updated at which are auto generated on insert rather than returning the entire record um, because we've already got most of the record we've already got the member id verb, value prefix suffix end date and reason and they're already in the value in the formats we want so um i did that um i do have to uh, massage the created at and updated at when they return because they're going to be um, dates um, and I need to um, return a, a Unix timestamp to pass back through well in the record basically so that I can pass it easily back um, un unchanged and as a known UTC value um, so the goal um, struct is set for those by using um, just the the Unix function there, and then it's returned. So that makes it a lot easier now. So basically, you pass in the values you need for the um, the goal. It's inserted. As long as it works, um, you're going to get back a nice, um, fully fleshed out goal struct. Um, if there's an error, it's going to return. Um, an empty goal and an error. Um, so it becomes quite an easy call there. We just pluck out um, from the request um, object. There's not many really an object struct. <clears throat> Those values and pass them into the great goal. And if we have an error, we return it. Um, otherwise, we then move on and we do create measurement. And that was just a very simple copy of that create goal with things changed for a measurement. So we're passing in the goal ID, um, the value that we are measuring, the, the, the measurement we've taken, the date we took it, and any notes. And it uses the same format empty measurement. <clears throat> um, insert it, return the ID um, and other generated fields. Um, if there's an error, if return an empty basically measurement with an error. Um, and uh, then construct the measurement uh, with notes. So that worked. Um, it's a little bit um, the, the, I need to do more here. And um, for starters, I need to wrap it in a transaction. Um, if we created the goal, but for whatever reason couldn't create the measurement, um, as it stands, we would end up with a goal with an empty measurement, and that's not good. What we need to do is uh, roll back and return the error from the measurement. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but yeah, it compiles. So. Um, I went on and I ended up fleshing out the submit handler for the add goal as well. Um, although 
I need to make a couple of adjustments to that. Um, so what happens here is when the goal um, is submitted, it calls the submit handler. Um, and all that does is it calls the add goal service that was generated by Otto in in the Go server. Um, and you can see it's uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's just a simple, simple thing. Takes a record, um, does a fetch, uh, a post fetch, um, and then does the usual stuff. Uh, checks it's got some nice JSON, otherwise throws an error. Um, so yeah, we're just passing in all the information that we already have. So we have a member. Um, when someone logs in, a member store is created with their ID um, and the token that's got from the login, which is there. Uh, pass in the verb, the value, the prefix, suffix, end date, reason, measurement value, so on, as part of a JSON object. Um, when it comes back, we want to make sure that we've got um, a goal as part of the returned um, service um, and a list of measurements as well, although we only expect the one. So we also have a check for measurements um, and we simply just um, create a little goal object effectively as a copy from I check copy, but I'm just creating it there. Um, Given it a new measurements um, property and stuffing in the JSON from the measurements there, and then uh, pushing that onto the goal store as a new record array item, um, and then navigate into the goals back or back to the goals um, root. If anything should happen, so if there was an authentication error, um, I'm just putting a little uh, message on the messages store, which in theory would create a like a like a toast um, message in the UI, but I haven't done any of that yet. I'm just storing them at the moment. Um, if something else happens, I don't know what to do there. So at the moment, I'm just going to add a like, oops, uh, something went wrong. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, haven't warmed up my throat yet. Um, and if everything really goes wrong um, and we return an error from the server in the API, um, that goal, that GM service ad goal, will throw an error, um, which we catch, and then we should be able to just put the message into one of those error messages that we still haven't got yet. Um, and so um, I did this last night and on my laptop. <laughs> uh, so I've only last night just like it's uh, FTP'd it across to here. Uh, so I need to compile it up and uh, give it a quick test um, before I commit it. Yeah, so yeah, late last night, just before midnight. Right, um, so let's just do a quick make. Make sure it works, I got everything together. Yeah, the goal, I did the goals, I did the Go server stuff on here. Um, I think. Hmm. Uh, and then the JavaScript on my laptop. Okay, so that works. Let's do a quick deploy. Okay, push that, 
so we've got oh I deleted the goals. So let's do a, something useful. Away. LB by make sure we pick a sensible date. It's the end of August. Keep healthy. And my first measurement is I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know how much I weigh at the moment. Let's assume I'm ten pounds over. <laughs> That's a good easily. Um probably a bit more. Um and then the date taken, yeah, let's say it says today. I'll leave it at that. What? Cool. <laughs> That's it. But yeah, okay. Goals was probably not the best route to end on. What I should probably end on is the goal page itself. Uh, which, as you can see, um, is just a very war page at the moment, just listing out the measurements. Haven't done the core of the goal, the whole goal monitor thing of a graph and everything yet. Um, yeah, okay, so let's, yeah, I think I'd prefer to do that. Let's quickly change that, because that's... Uh, Yeah. So it really, it really is just the ID. So I should be able to just do the gold ID okay. okay we'll give that a go Another one. Um, one. Bye. Let's do this is one of my goals. I think end of November. Is that right? Can't remember. Now we haven't measured, we haven't done anything, so. Oh, it would have been good if I'd refreshed the app. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's, um, I'm going to clean out, <laughs> do that again. Uh, yeah. Leap from actually, I'm going to clean out all my old. I've got a load of old data in there, so let's do Leap from... 
guys. Where? Nope. Uh, my email is not equal to. monitor.com cool delete from I wonder if I can I don't know how does Postgres uh, stroke I wonder if it'll come why it's gonna complain. Yep, I know. That's the point. Did it not do it then? Ah, uh, okay. Oh then. Let's do that instead. Is it gonna try and stop me? Nope, it did. Let's get rid of the Documents as well. Four hundred and fifty two. Okay. All right. Let's refresh the app. There we are. Still logged in though. I didn't delete any of the tokens or what myself as the demo. Right, let's create a goal. Uh, so I will weigh one six eight B by August the thirty first. First measurement, an optimistic hundred seventy eight, and save. Yay, there we go. Still need to do more on the navigation side of things because you need to I need to do like a get back and all that kind of stuff. But uh, we'll get there. Now we need to I mean this is just dummy stuff just showing how many measurements we've got. Um I need to put a little spark line graph in here and all kinds of things. But yeah, that's cool. Alright, well it's a working. Um, I have no tests uh, it, for this bit, um, and I need to do the transaction stuff, but this is a good start, so let's commit it. This will... Enable a new goal. Ah, oh, we don't need to capitalize that. Done. And I think that's, should I, um, I think it's a little bit, not sure that I've got time to start mucking about with uh, tests. Um, I can maybe whip in uh, transactions. Let's see uh, what the preferred way. Did a little bit of Let's go statements here. What have we got? Do we have begin? Yep. Eek. Yeah. I 
it prior to staff done it to read just some time. What's the deferrable stuff then? Okay. Don't need to worry about that. All right, so I just need to do a begin. I'm presuming we've got roll back and commit. I've got yeah, commit there. What's that? Please save point. Hmm. Do I want to do the client side retries? Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. That's interesting. But how long does it do that then? So, yeah, I kind of don't want to do a batch. I don't know how long it will keep retrying. And I obviously don't want to do individual because I do have to, uh, a dependent transact, um, commit, transaction, whatever. Statement, that's the word. So, Yeah. 
yeah, that's what I want to do. I just want to do standard if it fails, more back. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't think I want to do... I don't think I need to get that... that fancy just at the moment. I think we'll uh, keep it simple and just do uh, a simple begin. And uh, roll back commit. I can always upgrade it later. It's all going to be client side, as in go server client side. Uh, we can deal with that later. Don't need to get fancy just yet. So, okay, right, let's assume that we've validated the data, which I still haven't done yet. And then we're going to wrap these in a transaction. So, we're going to do... the form of insert that does uh, don't even know why I did that Just use that, but we'll just do the simple thing.
either. Okay, so I can't do that then. Do I have to do something like that? And I can't even do that. Urgh. I don't know. Go. I am learning on the go. Alright, do I need to... I thought I could just like... What was I doing before? Yeah, I can. Ah, oh, because I'm using the output there. Um... Let's use the same format then. Go find it again. Yeah, so that is a weird, weird format that. Weird. So why not? Oh, <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> Need to pass in the context. Text background. Because I don't really need about context. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so it doesn't if it doesn't even start, just get out of here. Why is it complaining about that now? It's not. That's fine. Okay. Now, presumably, can I, can I just disregard, yeah, it doesn't like it, does it? Yeah, I don't know. Just 
it. Both. Oh, it doesn't like that either. Well, I guess I should blink and look up. Oh, it's so long since I've done any go. I only did a tiny bit anyway. It doesn't... Okay. No new variables. Fine. Thank you, IntelliJ. Go land. All right, so we can roll back. And we can roll back here. We don't care whether it works or not, because it's probably not happened anyway. And then we will take, hopefully, a commit. So, begin the transaction. If for whatever reason we can't create the goal, roll back and return the original error. Try a measurement. Roll back, return the error. Return commit. If that doesn't work, return as error. Otherwise, go ahead and generate a normal response. Okay, I wonder, can I force an error? I can't. Not without mucking about with the data. No, I'll deal with that later. Um, do. <laughs> Ten. Things. And let's say we've done one. Where did it stay? Uh, okay. Oh dear. Did not work. There is no transaction in progress. What? Back to the docks. Why did that not work? Let's try, let's double check that because that's the 
stuff. Yeah, let's have a look. Show me your transaction one. I don't think I'm using that. Oh, did I? I wonder if it's this. What was the context? I thought that was going to be such a simple thing, and it doesn't work. Oh, computers. Right. What did I... transaction thing. Okay, so there's simple XX. So it's creating this. It's passing in a new transaction context type thing. Well, it's a connection, really. But I don't really want to do. You see, I did because I want to keep it so I can do Postgres as if I feel like it. So 
so I'm a little bit confused there. Yeah, I don't want to do all that. Ah, I'm out of time again. Let's, um... Time constraint. It's a problem sometimes. Right, I'm going to have to stop, but um, I'll have a look at this over the weekend, I guess, and see if I can work out what's going on. Because that, I would have thought, would work. Yeah, maybe I need to capture the context of that transaction there. Otherwise it just uh but surely the database connection itself is handling that as a single connection item. Hmm. Okay, now I've got to go. All right, so uh, another, well, at least we've got, we do actually have a goal and a measurement being created. Um, we're now just stuck in trying to make sure that's safer with uh, a transaction. For whatever reason, it is not working, which is going to annoy me. <laughs> I'll try and sort that out soon as. Um, anyway, um, until next time, take care.